A beautiful day for baseball here in the Motor City. We're at Comerica Park in Detroit. And an even better day if your name is Zach McKinstry, because Zach McKinstry, Fort Wayne's own Northside High School grad, you hit your first home run today against the uh, uh, Cleveland Guardians. What was it like when you saw the ball fly off the bat, clear that right field wall, and you're like, okay, like I feel like I'm officially a Tiger, home run number one, apparently we're good luck. Yeah, definitely a little bit of sigh of relief uh, coming off the back there. Um, yeah, just saw off the bat. I thought it, I top spun it a little bit. Might have hit the top of the wall, but it cleared it over. Uh, not by much, but it was a it was a good one. First one to get out of the way. You know, last season you ended up playing for the Cubs. Then on March 27th. Monday before opening day on Thursday, three days before opening day, you get traded to the Tigers. What has the last three three weeks been like for you? Yeah, just a whirlwind uh, with that of emotions. And uh, I mean, coming back to the Midwest is awesome too. Uh, coming back to Michigan special for me as well. I won a championship here with Great Lakes and uh, Central Michigan as well. Uh, going to, as a Chippewa, coming back is uh, amazing. How do you prepare for a new season, and then right at the end get thrown that wrinkle that not only are you preparing for another season, but you're doing it with another team in another city. How do you do it? Yeah, I mean, you just, <laughs> you just kind of go blow with the flow with the punches, and uh, that's all you can really do, and uh, make the most of it, have a good time, meet new teammates, meet new people, and uh, enjoy the locker room. Since you broke in with the Dodgers in uh, 2020, where have you seen your game grow and where have you matured the most as both you know, a person and as a baseball player? Yeah, definitely. Uh, just like the versatility part of it, playing outfield a little bit more, moving around, playing some shortstop last year with the Cubs, uh, getting, some, getting a lot of bats under my belt and just uh, attacking the pitcher. Now, I remember interviewing you after you got drafted in 2016, 33rd round out of Central Michigan at Turner's Park. Do you remember that interview? I do. <laughs> uh, it, how amazing is it now that this is the field that you're playing at? You're in the majors. You are truly living the dream. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the dream. This is what we, as a kid, you dream for. And uh, just doing it and enjoying every moment of it and uh, enjoying my teammates, enjoying the people around me. What would you here in 2023 say to the kid that was playing baseball for Northside High School at Carrington Park under your dad back in the day? What advice would you give that former Northside Redskin slash legend? Uh, keep, keep competing, uh, having fun, and uh, making the most of it because uh, you're going to go a long way and just in, uh, enjoy it and be confident in yourself. What are your goals for the rest of this season? Obviously, you know, you're in a new city, and as I mentioned, three weeks with the Tigers. Hit your first bomb today. Uh, I would say just uh, get more at-bats and continue to show this team uh, that I can help them win. Now, you and Josh Van Meter were teammates, 12U Little League, two guys in Fort Wayne that have now made the majors. When you think back on that, do you, uh, what do you think about that? What does that mean to you, especially considering, man, you guys are both doing it kind of at the same time, sort of as the same player, like utility guys that can play anywhere, left-handed bats? Yeah, definitely. I uh, always root for Josh. Every time I see him, I say hi, what's up, how's it going? Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, we just kind of go our own ways and uh, enjoy our teams and uh, compete against each other. It's a lot of fun. Now, you grew up in Fort Wayne, but I believe you were born in Toledo, correct? Yeah, I was born in Toledo, yes. So getting back to this part of the country specifically, when you started your career and played in the Dodgers organization, um, how cool is that now that, you know, friends, family, people that you know really do have an opportunity to see you play in person? Yeah, the first few years I didn't have that opportunity, so it's definitely nice to have friends out here. And they came out to Wrigley Field last year a lot, showed up pretty in, in quite a few numbers. And uh, same here this year. It's been awesome. I have a lot of Tiger friends as well, and uh, they're loving it. My dad grew up a Cleveland Cleveland fan so um, yeah it was fun to get a few wins against them and uh, I texted him yesterday sorry that I had to beat up on your team a little bit um, they got the win today but uh, it, it was a lot of fun now you won a World Series ring in 2020 your rookie year first season with the Dodgers dude it's not supposed to be that easy <laughs> it's not supposed to be that easy man where right. is that ring now uh, it's it's with me all the time uh, I carry it um, not to the field or anything but it's it's always around me and uh, yeah that's the goal is to to win rings and I have a lot of them from the minor leagues and uh, make sure that they're close to heart all right. Well, we appreciate it. Zach McKinstry, Detroit Tigers infielder, Fort Wayne native, hitting his first bomb here in Detroit today. Zach, we appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you.